You remember when you were seven years old? It's Christmas morning or your birthday. And you jump out of bed excited, full of energy. 5 a.m., no questions asked. I want to know why we can't do that every day right now. Why can't we wake up excited, passionate, full of energy, without hitting the snooze button 10 times? Why do we have to set five or six alarms to wake up at 6 a.m.? In this video, we're going to talk about what successful people do before they even eat breakfast. We're going to talk about why successful people have morning routines. I'm going to show you what I've discovered in the last six years of doing a morning routine, of trying to develop a morning routine that I can stick to, something that's fun, easy, that motivates me, that inspires me to get out of bed in the morning. Let's talk about the five things that I discovered that worked best for me. And I think they can really help you too. I think you're going to want to get out of bed. You're going to get out of bed excited. You're going to be able to wake up at 5 a.m., no questions. First things first, meditation. Wake up, go chug some water, and then sit down on the couch, sit down on the floor, lay down, whatever you need to do, and meditate. You can use nothing. Just set a timer, 5 to 10 minutes. You can use YouTube, guided meditations on YouTube. There's apps like the Calm app, Headspace. Whatever you need to do to get you started. Don't judge yourself on this. There's no right or wrong way. We're strengthening our mind here. It's just like going to the gym. We have to strengthen our muscles. We can't just go in there and do 100 reps. We have to build up. But the reason we're meditating is because it brings clarity. We're starting to see how we want our life. We're starting to prioritize and organize our thoughts. Getting rid of the things that don't matter so much and doing the things that are most important to us. We're gonna be able to visualize our day. Maybe we visualize the meeting that we have later on and how we want it to go so that we're more prepared. Maybe you're just visualizing the life that you want. This is gonna take you in that direction so that we can respond instead of react when things are thrown at us, when there's changes in our schedule. So first thing is meditation. Elevate the vibe. Two, we have to do some form of movement. Now we're taking care of the body. Five to 10 minutes, you don't have to do your full exercise routine. Maybe, maybe you like to do a full exercise and just crush it. For me, not so much. I just stretch for 10 minutes in the morning. Relieve some of that tension in my muscles. Maybe I roll out, foam roll. This is allowing that energy to flow through my body better. Now it's waking me up. I'm increasing that blood flow, elevating the heart rate a little bit. Maybe I do some push-ups here and there. Just have fun with it, five to 10 minutes. Release those endorphins. Get excited about your day. After this, we go into the journal. This isn't a big deal. It's not a diary. I've been doing this since June of 2014. Maybe not every day, but I try to get it in every single day. And I know that because I date it. I write the date at the top. It's awesome to see the evolution. Again, I'm bringing clarity. I'm setting intentions. I'm finding out my why. I'm developing a mission for my life. My grandfather really inspires me because he can look back on his life and see all these accomplishments, all these records and articles written about him. He has all these accolades. He's an inspiration to me. I want to be an inspiration for my grandkids. I want to have all these successes, all these victories, all these accomplishments. I want to make that big impact like him. He fought in a war. CEO of hospitals made them so successful. I want to do that. I want to be able to inspire my grandchildren. I want to be able to have a marriage that's 60 plus years long. I want to have discipline in my career and discipline in my relationships. How amazing is that? That's incredible. We can strive for that. We have the potential to do that. Look for the people that inspire you. And it starts with this journal. Gratitude, writing down five things you're grateful for. Writing down five goals. Setting intentions for your day, for your life. There's nothing stopping you. Develop your mission, develop your why. Write down the reasons why you wanna do something, why you wanna accomplish these things. Put passion behind your gratitude. I'm so thankful that my body is full of energy. I'm so thankful that my body is healthy and strong. I'm so happy that I have a home that's filled with peace and love. See, put passion behind your gratitude list so that you can feel ignited and feel these feelings of appreciation first thing in the morning so that you can see your goals and be motivated to go after them, that you have that belief in yourself that you can accomplish them. I am empowering millions of people. That's what it's about. Write them down. Let them know. These are for you, no one else. You don't have to share them with people. After your journal, we're gonna start learning now. We're expanding our mind, expanding our knowledge. 
increasing our creativity by reading for 10 minutes in the morning. You can read whatever you want, whatever you're interested in. Something that kind of uplifts you a little bit. Maybe you just listen to a podcast, listen to an audio book. All these things are good for your mind. I like to read, actually flipping pages. That's successful because it's hard to do at first. These are, these are small wins, small victories. Success follows success. Jim Rohn says, success leaves clues. Successful people have successful habits. So take a look at successful people's habits and you might find a clue that can help ignite your life. You might find a clue that can help change your life, that can help turn your life around, that can help you going forward, going up. Success leads clues. Follow the successes. So now that you've expanded your knowledge, increased your creativity, give some love, give some appreciation. You've just dedicated a lot of time for yourself first thing in the morning. Now give back a little bit. Show your spouse some love, your girlfriend. Show her you appreciate her. Be kind. Give your dog some love. If you're single, maybe you text a friend, yo, get up, it's time to wake up. We got, we got goals, we gotta get after it. Or whatever you wanna text them, whatever's on your heart, your family. It doesn't matter, build this support system. Give support, you get support. You're building a team, you're building an army. You have to have an army behind you so that you can go after your goals. So do this first thing in the morning. Be the leader of your army. Strive for success. Elevate everybody around you. That's what it's all about. You raise your energy, you raise your vibe, you raise your standards, you're gonna raise everybody around you standards. They're gonna all lift up with you. And the bonus for you savages, Take a cold shower in the morning. Doesn't matter where on the list you do it. Jump in the cold shower, shock your nervous system, strengthen your mitochondria, create new mitochondria, whatever it is. I don't know. I know it has something to do with that. I'll leave that to Wim Hof to tell you about. Jump in a cold shower though. Either way, it's gonna wake you up. It's gonna shock your system. It's gonna make you do something that you don't wanna do. No one wants to jump in a cold shower. So when you jump in that cold shower, you're already doing something to build your willpower. I don't do this every single day. I don't even do this regularly anymore. But there was a time where I was jumping in every day because I needed it. I needed something to strengthen my mind, to build my willpower so that I could quit some bad habits. This cold shower, it sparked that. Develop a morning routine that you can stick to. This one is a perfect place to start. Meditation, movement, journal, learn, and build that support system, give love, Show appreciation. Remember, I'm here to ignite that passion. Be you, be different, and let's get after it. It's go time, baby. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And comment your morning routine down below. I'd love to hear some new tools, tips, strategies that work for you. Peace, one love.